When you are photographing, it is about preparing, but it's also about moments that happen and you have to catch them because then they become history, they are there forever. Here we are in uh, North Gallery. It's the first one when you come into the exhibition and we try to create an atmosphere which is very meditative. It's about uh, us, the human being, walking on Earth and try to understand who we are and especially try to grasp in building, in nature, dimensions that are difficult to grasp. So I was so glad to include this photograph of the Bruderkapelle by Peter Zuntor because in the end what it is, it is a wonderful little, little building in the middle of a field made in a very particular way. He made a wood structure and then he poured the concrete and then he burned the wood. What it is, it's about framing light in a very particular way, in a very reduced way for us to really be able to connect with the light with the sky, with sometimes we, we, we can't because it's such, such a vast dimension. So here we are in the South Gallery and we try to create uh, an atmosphere which is very different from the other two. The light is brighter, the colour are brighter and we put together a series of work that somehow very abstract and deal with maybe fundamental aspect of architecture like the ground and the walls. When I was asked to photograph something in China, I decided to concentrate it on the Suju Garden. And when I arrived there, I was completely in love with the walls. So uh, the beauty of these walls were they were full of moss because of humidity. And uh, the moss grows in a very free way. It reminds me of very early Chinese painting. And with this, what I wanted to do is to reflect of what it is when we are confronted with an obstacle. We cannot go further physically, so it is our mind that starts to travel. We can't travel, our mind starts to <laughs> flow and fly, and we start to imagine. Here we are in the West Gallery. We create an atmosphere which is more energetic and it's about the love of making, making new buildings and inventing new forms of um, construction. Of course, Zaha had it is there as the most important architect I've been working with. Here we are in Glasgow and it's the Transport Museum and it is just the roof. But it is much more than just the roof. It's a landscape. It's almost reminding you of dune formation, of a lava flow, so of forces that um, shape nature and are very strong, 
but she's inspired by that, by that energy and makes it into a beautiful building. So for me it was an absolute must to go on the roof. Not easy to stand there, as you can imagine, with my big uh, 4x5 camera and not to slip left or right, and there was a bit of a gap behind me. But it was a fantastic moment because like, you know, in Glasgow, we had mm, three days of rain, and then suddenly the sky opens up and made that fantastic performance.